Don't forget to hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a little game to show you. October is my birthday month, so I am doing lots and lots of birthday themed videos and activities. This one is a cute little cupcake game made by the company Zwiggle. I don't have anything else by this company. Zwiggle is a very cute name. It says make the most matches to win. It is for preschoolers. That's the age group that I work with. And it's for ages 3 and up, 2 to 4 players. It contains 16 icing tops, 1 tray, and 1 double sided playboard. There's the back. Zwiggle games that make you giggle. It has like a safety tested. And it's got another toy company name on here, Terra Toy Corporation 2011. Here are a couple other games that were in that set. I did not get those. So I'm just going to crack into it so I can show you what it's like. The box isn't great for storage, as you can see. But I still tried to keep it going. So I had to keep the little plastic part so that the parts wouldn't fall out. Probably came off the front. It was so sparkly and glittery. And of course, we got the instructions there. You can see how easy the setup is. You just basically have to cover the cakes. So good for working on the k sound. And it is a memory game. Take a cake. If you're working on k final, it's chocolate. And you can take another one and say it's as if it's the same or not the same. Nope, this one's cinnamon. So you have to cover the cakes again. So it's very heavy with the k sound. You can hide and peek until you find a match. The other fun thing about this one that I really like is that you can... Oh, we got a blueberry there. Describe what you find underneath. And the other thing you can do is hide other things underneath if you want to. So you can hide little candies or little stickers in there. It's kind of hard to see. But they're really, really cute and really attractive. They look good enough to eat. I'm just gonna take those out so you can see. You can use this. I think it slides out if I'm not mistaken. So another cute aspect to this game is you can remove the base and you can flip it around. So this is the one we were playing with at the beginning. But you can flip it and do some different words and some different targets. So if the children want to play the game twice, you can make it interesting and switch it over. So this one's good for k as well. So we've got candy cakes, cookie cakes, and carrot cake. This one's also good for if you have a mixed group of kids with, so one child's working on S blends and then one's working on the k sound. You can switch it up a little bit. So that's cute because there's stars and swirls and sprinkles and that kind of thing on here as well. The other fun thing I like about this one is you could make a mat like this with anything you want on it. So if you want to add some funny things like stinky socks <laughs> on your under your cupcakes, you can do that too. So that it, you can use it for a whole wide variety of kiddos that would like to play the birthday cupcake game. I just found this toy to be really versatile and I know there's not a lot of people that play memory anymore, but at a conference I learned that it's great for short-term memory and math skills. So we'll always push the memory games. This one you kind of have to play with all of them. You can't make it a smaller set, so with some of my younger kiddos I might have some already exposed so they can see that what we're trying to do, we're trying to make a match. But if you wanted to play with a smaller set, you could so that you don't have too too many because if you keep getting the wrong answer they get a little frustrated so so that is what the cupcake surprise is all about you can add to the surprise if you want and put more fun things under there you can talk about top and bottom 
under. We're taking turns and just even just talking about that, just talking about remembering. So do you remember? So those are some of our thinking words that we use when we're working on perspective taking. Do you remember where we saw that carrot? I think it was on the, in the middle at the bottom. And friends can help friends, and then everybody, everybody wins. You can count the tops at the end if you want. If you have some competitive kiddos that want to see who found the most. But that's one little cupcake I wanted to share. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.